Worship or deification of fire also pyrodulia, pyrolatry or pyrolatria is known from various religions. Fire has been an important part of human culture since the Lower Paleolithic. The earliest known traces of controlled fire were found at the Daughters of Jacob Bridge, Israel, and dated to 790,000 years ago. Religious or animist notions connected to fire are assumed to reach back to such early pre-Homo sapiens times. Indo-European religions In Indo-European languages, there were two concepts regarding fire, that of an animate type called asterisk agni cf. Sanskrit agni English ignite from Latin ignis, and Russian ogon, and an inanimate type asterisk paewr cf. English, fire, Greek pyr, Sanskrit pu. A similar distinction existed for water. Archaeologically, the earliest evidence for Indo Iranian fire worship is found at the transition from the Sintash to Petrovka to the Fedorovo culture around 1500 BC, together with first evidence of cremation. While cremation became ubiquitous in Hinduism, it came to be disavowed in Zoroastrianism. However, even earlier, Evidences of Vedic fire altars have been found at the Indus Valley sites of Kalibangan and Lothal, giving rise to speculations toward earlier assumed the geographical location of the early Indo-Iranians. Although the term, fire worshippers, is primarily associated with Zoroastrians, the idea that Zoroastrians worship fire is originally from anti-Zoroastrian polemic. Instead, fire, even in a fire temple, the Zoroastrian terms are more prosaic and simply mean. House of Fire is considered to be an agent of purity and as a symbol of righteousness and truth. In the present day this is explained to be because fire burns ever upward and cannot itself be polluted. Nonetheless, Sade and Chaharshamba Suri are both fire-related festivals celebrated throughout Greater Iran and date back to when Zoroastrianism was still the predominant religion of the region. In Vedic disciplines of Hinduism, fire is a central element in the yajna ceremony, with Agni fire playing the role as mediator between the worshipper and the other gods. Related concepts are the Agnihotra ritual, the invocation of the healing properties of fire, the Agnikayana ritual, which is the building of a fire altar to Agni, and Agnistoma, which is one of the seven Samayashnas. In the Vaishnav branch of Hinduism, Agni or fire is considered the tongue of the Supreme Lord Narayana, hence all the sacrifices done even to any demigod ultimately is a sacrifice to the Supreme Lord Narayana. Fire worship in Greco-Roman tradition had two separate forms, fire of the hearth and fire of the forge. Hearth worship was maintained in Rome by the Vestal Virgins, who served the goddess Vesta, protector of the home, who had a sacred flame as the symbol of her presence in the city cf. Sacred fire of Vesta. The Greek equivalent of the goddess was Hestia, whose worship is less well attested. The fire of the forge was associated with the Greek god Hephaestus and the Roman equivalent Vulcan. These two seem to have served both as craft guild patrons and as protectors against accidental fires in cities. Also associated with fire is the titanic god Prometheus, who stole fire for humans from the gods. Most forms of worship in Greco-Roman religion involved either cooking or burning completely an animal on a fire made on an altar in front of a temple see Hecatome. Celtic mythology had Belinus, whose name, Shining One, associated him with fire. In Slavic mythology, Svarag, meaning, bright and clear, was the spirit of fire. The best known and dramatic among numerous Slavic pagan fire rituals is the jumping over the bonfire on the Ivan Kupala day. Topic. Semitic religions Fire is an element of theophany in the Hebrew Bible's burning bush, pillar of fire, and the flame of the menorah. The highest form of sacrifice was the korban Allah, performed twice daily, which is an animal sacrifice completely consumed by fire. Islam on the other hand has no rituals associated with fire and burning. The Quran describes the devil as a creature of fire. The devil's rejection and contempt toward man originate from the devil's perception that fire is superior to mud. This sentiment was the cause of the devil's banishment from the heavens. <laughs> Modern religions Fire continues to be a part of many human religions and cultures. 
For example, it is used in cremation and bonfires, candles are used in various religious ceremonies, eternal flames are used to remind of notable occasions, and the Olympic flame burns for the duration of the Games. The Holy Fire in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem has been consecutively documented since 1106 AD. See also Bonfire of the Vanities Eternal Flame List of Fire Gods Manipura Fire Chakra Nature Worship Sun Worship References <references>